Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Premier League is already wrapped up, but the FA Cup winner is certainly still up for debate. In today's episode, we are covering the final game of the season and then the FA Cup final in a Manchester derby for some level of glory. I'd be pretty happy if we managed to win it. We could get the treble this year, boys and girls, although I would get rid of both the Premier League title and the FA Cup title if it meant we won the Champions League. Hey guys and welcome back to the 35th episode of the FM21 Manchester City Road to the Champions League save with me, Raxo FM, where today we are facing Sheffield United in our final game of the Premier League season and then we are facing Manchester United in the FA Cup final to hopefully solidify the double but we need to go on and win the treble if we want to be completing this series in this day, I guess. It's not happening in this episode, it's going to happen next episode i should have said season in the season i don't even know if i'm going to record the champions league final today i've got things to do i need to make dinner boys and girls but if you are enjoying the series so far make sure that you do smash the like button on today's episode as well as subscribing to the rex or fm youtube channel there is going to be a good save coming up next like trust me on this i've got plans although I still am not certain we're going to win the Champions League final. Could we please get 10 likes on today's episode? I think that's a fair goal for what is happening in today's episode. It's going to be a good one. And let's go over what's happened since last time we saw each other. I've simulated all of the games and they were brilliant results, including a 4-0 win over Nottingham Forest. The mighty, mighty Nottingham Forest, might I add. As well as a 6-1 win against Liverpool, who we are facing in the Champions League final. Now... If that doesn't give you confidence that we're going to win the Champions League this year, I don't know what will, because that is an absolutely historic result. Then a 3-1 win against Manchester, no, we are Manchester City, against Arsenal at home, and now we're going away to beat Sheffield United, well, hopefully beat Sheffield United. And there's still a lot to play for, boys and girls. I will admit, Holland has basically wrapped up the golden boot with 39 goals and 31 appearances. He's incredible, isn't he? But De Bruyne could still be overtaken by Mateus Pereira, technically. It's unlikely, but it, it technically could happen. Holland's currently the top most player of the matches, but De Bruyne will want to be winning this one to get it over the top of him. And uh, in clean sheets, we can't be beaten. So, uh, to be honest, though, I'm not certain why I'm covering this final game of the season, but it's kind of the victory lap, you know? It's a... Uh, it's 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 important. You got to reflect and think about what has happened throughout the season and celebrate it. And that's what we're going to do in today's game. We're going to celebrate the accomplishments that we have made. If we hadn't lost that game against Aston Villa, this would be a very intense game because it would be for an unbeaten Premier League title. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. And straight away, we have an opportunity, and I'm hoping it's going to come our way. I really wouldn't like to lose a game against Sheffield United on the last day of the season just before an FA Cup and a Champions League final. So, yeah, let's keep the form going, boys. And it's looking like it is going to be Sheffield United's chance. I didn't give them much credit before. I was confident that it was going to be ours. And, yeah, actually, my confidence was placed correctly. Goretzka on the ball, playing it over to Ferran Torres. Ferran Torres running through the right wing, trying to find some space. He's done very well, that man, and somehow put a decent ball into the mixer. Can't get anyone's head onto it, but we've still got the opportunity. Pedri back to Davies, and he scores his first goal of the season on the final day of the season. That's, you know, I don't mind. As long as he scores one goal a year, that's enough for me. And if it's on the last day of the season, so be it. What an assist by Pedri as well. you gotta got to respect that. Look at it. He just holds it up. He knows, to, he knows when to lay it off. And Davies is there to smash it into the top cor corner. Aaron Ramsdale, the new Arsenal goalkeeper, can't get a fingertip onto it. Wait, he can, actually. He just couldn't keep it ignore what i said he couldn't keep it out is what i mean to say and after 15 minutes it's clear that we are the champions of this nation we are the best team in europe we are certainly the best team in england well i'm really hoping we are the best team in in europe well if we're the best team in england and we're versing liverpool in the final then we must be the best team in europe as well because you know if we're better than them in england 
and we're versing them. You get what I'm saying. Like, realistically, we should be winning that Champions League final. This is just warm-up, though. And this warm-up seems to be going well, as Ferran Torres again has an opportunity to whip a ball in. He finds Jao Cancelo, who plays it into Goretzka, who hits it. And that is unfortunate. I think it's more unfortunate that somehow that's been ruled out for offside. I want to know how, why, when, and why. I think I already said why, but I do want to know how. Haaland blocked the shot, I imagine, and was in an offside position. They're not even showing me a replay. Alright, I, I think there's some conspiracy theory cover-ups going on here. I'm not going to lie, boys and girls, that, that was dodgy. We'll take it, though. We'll, we'll, we'll accept it. We're winning 1-0. It's away from home against Sheffield United, so not that big of a deal. And we've already run, won the league. I shouldn't be complaining, but I, there was dodgy stuff going on there. I think that if they score here... I would have been up in arms, but luckily Aubameyang can't finish it. Aubameyang playing for Sheffield United. Now, that, that is not something I thought I'd ever see. I thought Aubameyang would retire at Arsenal, or at the very least retire at, like, a decent side in the League One. Not Sheffield United. Um, at least they're not going down this year, to be fair, though. So he can't have done horrendously. And they're still on the attack against us. He could score yet. They've played it out to the right wing with Rashika into Mesa. I actually recognise quite a few of these names, even though... Very few of them are actually playing for Sheffield United in real life. Okay, that hasn't gone well for them. But that has gone brilliantly for Ramsdale. How was that a goal kick? I guess it got, the ball went over the line before he saved that one. But that was brilliant by the goalkeeper. And that's the kind of quality he's going to bring to the Arsenal side in real life. But we've still got the opportunity to put another one past him. De Bruyne, this is his position to get an assist. What was the chance? Like, what? Sorry? Where was the highlight in that? I want to backtrack again and just acknowledge the fact that Football Manager is terrible at creating highlights for us because, yeah, no, nothing interesting, nothing worth note in that passage of play. But at least we're still winning at halftime. 1-0. I'm delighted with the performance. Let's keep it up. Let's have positive vibes. You know, let's not start getting all technical and beating them down as we go into the final. You know, you want to be happy. Even if we don't win, you want to be happy. And Aubameyang's on the ball right now, trying to clear it out. He's done well to play that ball. He probably should be up attacking them. And you know what? Just because he isn't up there, I'm pretty confident we're not going to get a goal conceded. And I'm, uh, I'm exactly right. But now he's probably had the opportunity to move his way up. I think he's out there on the left-hand side. And they're trying to play the ball to somewhere in the middle where he could be attacking. That is exactly what I thought they were trying to do. And they've done it. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, he scored against us. Why is he like 37 now? Come on, that's he's probably not 37. He's not that old. That's a great ball over the top, and that's a really good finish. I would have liked another clean sheet to end the season. I'd like a win to end the season, actually. Are we getting that goal? Haaland does score that goal. It's De Bruyne, the top assister. Haaland, the top goal scorer. Linking up, getting an absolute beauty of a goal, and breaking some serious records. How many goals had Haaland scored? Is he and he scored 39. That's insane. Like, when, when the record was, what, 30, like, 6 or 7 that Sala broke, he's, he's absolutely smashed it. That is, it's pretty incredible, it has to be said. I'm now considering why SMS wasn't starting this game. Goretzka is coming off. SMS can make a good appearance here. And Ferran Torres is not having the best day at the office, so he's also, also going to make way also because he's not looking entirely fit out there. That's not... Ferran Torres, let's, let's switch that and move him over there. Sounds good to me. Okay, Grealish, he's had a good year. Let's see if he can do anything on the last day of the season. I mean, it would be nice if someone actually managed to get a goal because we, we know that Sheffield United can score against us. I wouldn't put it past them to get another one with a Bamiang up top, although he's not even up top. He's on the left wing, playing as an inverted winger. He's not even a left winger. He's a left midfielder, and he's scoring goals against us. That's embarrassing. That's not good. He's been brought off as well. They brought in McBurney. Okay, but yeah, we're definitely winning this game now, boys and girls. I'm going to bring De Bruyne off as well, just as a precautionary hazard to make sure he doesn't get injured or anything in the last few minutes of this game. We need him fully fit and available for the next game in the Champions League. Not in the Champions League final, in the FA Cup final, Champions League final. That, that video is coming out tomorrow, so make sure you do like and subscribe so you don't miss that. But we've wrapped up the title. Well, the, the title was already wrapped up. But we've wrapped up the season with a very respectable 2-1 win away from home. At least we've kept the run going. And we haven't lost a single game at home all year. It couldn't have been changed because that was away from home. But 105 points. That is absolutely ridiculous. Only, winning, only losing one game and drawing three. That's got to be a new record. And I tell you what is a new record. 
40 goals for Haaland. <sighs> Let's see who wins the awards for us. I guess our season review doesn't happen until we finish all the competitions. But let's take a look at who's winning the awards for the Premier League. Because, come on, we, we, we should be up there for just about everything. How long is this going to take? This is going to take a while, isn't it? Yeah, this is definitely going to take a while. I will pause the recording because we've got a whole other football match to play. That actually didn't take too long. 13 notifications, I imagine. That is for all of the awards we've won. A record high points, 105 new English Premier League record. We'll take that. And uh, De Bruyne has set the new average rating record for, for us or the Premier League. No, for the Premier League as well. He's doing well. He's doing well. Gabriel Barbosa helped Chelsea see off a side and get some sort of European qualification. De Bruyne is named as the English Premier League Footballer of the Year. There's no surprises there. He has been incredible. 14 goals, 16 assists, getting a total of 30 goal involvement and a 7.78 rating. I mean, you could argue that Holland deserves it, but realistically when you're playing down in that cam role and getting those kinds of num numbers you're going to be recognized more than a striker even if you do score this many goals 40 goals in a season that is ridiculous Holland. absolutely outshining mbappe sorry sorry mbappe i'm kind of talking smack about you right now but just so many more goals i know mbappe is a right winger for us but yeah he's he's been incredible for us Holland, also the young player of the year goal of the season oh ferran torres in third place i cannot be bothered watching that i'm sorry it's just gonna take too long golden glove goes to edison for getting the most clean sheets has he conceded the least goals he's only conceded 15 i imagine he conceded the least goals as well i'm named as the manager of the year i'll take that i will absolutely take that and just about our entire squad has been named in the team of the year Ferran Torres out on the left Mbappe on the right M SMS in the middle Holland in there we've also got Davies Delict Laporte Cancelo and Edison so the only players that missed out were De okay De Bruyne was yeah okay we'll, we'll just ignore that we'll, we'll ignore that so only De Bruyne has been ignored and also uh, Kimmich has been ignored so no I am going to comment on it how was De Bruyne not gotten in a, a one player yeah no Let, let's we'll move on and we'll go straight into the fa cup final now the moment you've all been waiting for let's go win a trophy let's go beat manchester united the day's upon us it is time there's no backing down now this is the team that we're going with holland up top de bruyne behind them mbappe to the right and pedri to the left Milinkovic Savic and Kimmich make up the midfield. Cancelo de Ligt, Laporte, Davies, and Edison make up our defence. The bench is stacked. I am ready. You are ready. We're playing positively. And we've submitted the squad. There's no back and back. There's no back and back now? No, there is no back and back now. I, I like that phrase actually. There is no back and back. We need to go ahead. We need to win this game. Let's take a look at the Manchester United side that we are facing on this fine, spectacular. Actually, quite quite well lit, and um, weather looks good tonight, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I've got a strong 11. Mateus Enrique scored a goal against us a while ago, I remember, so I don't want that to happen again today. Although their team is, yeah, it is, it is quite good, to be fair. And some of those players have high potentials in this game and are only getting better. And it looks like their opportunity was about to be theirs, but luckily we have won the ball back. And this could be our opportunity. Yet yeah, Davies playing it back to Laporte, back into Davies. They're putting a, a lot of pressure on us early, but I think we're doing well to cope with it. Delict playing it back to Edison, playing it around the defence. I don't mind it as long as we find a way out, and we have done. Pedri moving the ball forward. I think that Holland was way offside. Doesn't matter because that goal, that ball has gone straight into the goalkeeper's hands and now Pogba's on the ball, playing it back to Longley and they are certainly going to have an attacking opportunity if they play their cards right here. Alex Talley is looking for a ball into the mixer. Is it going to come? Rashford, Kane, blocks Greenwood. We're 1-0 down and I'm straight away going to a balanced mentality. That is pretty horrendous from us. Kane shots blocked and I don't know what Edison's up to. He's just stood there as the ball has floated into the back of the net. He's, he's literally not moved. There's, there's nothing about that that tells me he can't move and try and save that. Edison, that, that is well and truly on you. Okay, there's still plenty of football to go. We're only one goal down and we've got the ability to come back into it. We know it, but I'm going to have to demand more and we've got an injury. And not only does that affect, affect this game, 
but it affects the game against Liverpool in the Champions League final. Okay, demand more. No, I'm not even going to demand more. I'm not going to mess up this highlight. Is it going to be our highlight? Cancelo back over to De Bruyne, but it's intercepted. And Rashford is tackled very well by whoever that was. Mbappe back in. Gives it straight away once again. Okay, it looks like Manchester United are well and truly more up for this. They are my bogey team, remember. I want the treble today, boys. Wan-Bissaka into Greenwood. Greenwood back to Wan-Bissaka. wan, -Bissaka. wan -Bissaka moving it back to Maguire. Let's win the ball. Someone show a bit of heart. Show a bit of desire. This is a final, boys. This is for the FA Cup. I don't know how many times Manchester City have won it, but we still want to win it again today. Mbappe, there we go. That's what we like to be seeing. Play now on the left-hand side, unlike where he should be playing. I don't care. If it leads to that, play wherever you want. Playing goal, if it matters, if it's going to lead to a goal like that. Brilliant stuff. The pass into the mixer is perfect. And from that position, you expect Holland to be finishing that. A great run by Mbappe, though. He is absolutely dominated the position there to make sure that he wins the ball back, passes the ball in, gets the assist, and gets us back on level terms. And now with 25 minutes gone, it is all square, and it's anyone's game. I say that as Edison's running out of his box and clearing it. Thank goodness it came to one of our players. This could be an opportunity for us to go straight back at them, get them with the swift reply, the double whammy, the misery compiler. That's the word I was looking for. And I think it could happen if De Bruyne plays it through. Mbappe, that's a penalty. I don't care. Oh, I thought that goal. I thought that was a goal. I thought that was a penalty as well. But it doesn't matter. That was a good opportunity. We've still got a chance from the corner. I'm not expecting much from it. Yeah, I was I was right to not expect much, and that's probably going to be the highlight done. As I'm I'm correct, you know, I'm 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 a tactical genius and a general genius when it comes to football manager. A couple of people looking disheartened. I'm going to demand more. Yeah, that that has disheartened a couple of people as well. And I think we're going into halftime on level terms, unless we see a very late highlight. No, okay, we're going straight into halftime on level terms. I'm far from pleased from the performance. I want to see more. I want to see us winning this game. I want to see a dominating performance like I know that we can do against the big sides. Let's make sure that it happens in this half. Greenwood running at us. Oh, this is concerning. This is concerning. Edison, great save. It's not actually a great save. You need a lot to redeem yourself after that goal that we conceded. And it could be redeemed here if we manage to score. And Mbappe's running forward. Oh, it looked too early on in the chance for him to shoot. But he manages to shoot and Henderson just keeps it out. It was kind of trickling over the line for a second there but luckily for them they do manage to stop it just before it goes in and now we have an opportunity but we've given the ball away and wan -Bissaka, not known for his attacking ability clears it over to Rashford somehow that pass was pinpoint perfect stuff and I shouldn't be complimenting them because they're running at us Rashford looking for a ball into the mixer Edison 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 you're not covering yourself in glory today oh my goodness you're not covering yourself in glory okay he's got it there <sighs> okay Maybe Murich might be the right option in Manchester United. What are they doing? This can't be legal. They're just injuring all of our players for the Champions League final. I don't care about this game as much as the Champions League final. And they're just injuring everyone. And that one's a big one. Mbappe. Not only does it... Oh, we've got injuries and they're beating us now. From a corner, Harry Maguire nods it into the back of the net. I hate Manchester United. I'm sorry. I just hate them. This is ridiculous. There can't be laws in football that allow this to happen. It's bounced off our player and gone in as well. As no one turned on for this game. I'm going to berate the boys. Yell at them. Try and fire them up. Look, everyone's happy there. 15 minutes of football to go and we're going attacking. There's no point sitting back and relaxing. I only have one more substitute. It's going to be Jackie Grealish. He's coming on for Pedri. Pedri coming off on that right-hand side. And you know what? I'm going to switch them over. Jack Grealish as the right winger. And then we're having Ferran Torres as the left winger. Oh, let's demand more. Very attacking. I don't even have the chance to go very attacking. And we have an opportunity. Grealish, the so super sub, plays it back. Holland shot. It's not gone in. It's not enough. We're going very attacking, boys. Come on. One more opportunity. Is this going to be it? Is this a real highlight? I don't know. De Bruyne plays it back to Kimmich. Kimmich into the mixer and Goretzka. He hits it straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, and the chance might not be over as Manchester United are attacking. Rashford playing it in. Cousin can't find anyone luckily. But he plays it back to Pogba. The chance is still not over. I was expecting it to be done by now. He plays it all the way back to their goalkeeper. No one's putting pressure. And I don't know what to do. Four minutes of additional time. 
what do you do in this situation, boys and girls? We certainly put everyone on attacking duty. That's what we do. Uh, Grealish, he's right-footed, right? Yeah, no, he's, he's definitely staying as a winger. Oh, maybe we will switch them. We will switch them, actually. Grealish inside forward. Goretzka, Mazala on attack. That's all we'll do. And we'll wait and see if we see a highlight. We see a highlight. Cancelo, De Bruyne, Ferran Torres running into the box. He can't get a pass away. And Bruno Fernandes is running at us. Come on, someone's got to put a foot in. Come on, someone's got to get a tackle. Mateus Enrique, Goretzka's done it. Can we get an attacking opportunity? There's space out wide. Haaland is offside. And the shot doesn't matter because it's not a very good finish at all. Great play until the finish, apparently. And it's... Ah, there's still time, but... I don't know what to do. Let's let's go more di more direct and get rid of play out from defence. Actually, I'm not getting rid of that. I'm too nervous to get rid of that. Come on, one more chance. We see one more chance. Is it going to be another goal? Edison collects it. Clear it long. Do something quickly, mate. Like, like We don't have a lot of time left. He's cleared it just like I want him to. Jack Grealish off the bench. Into Ferran Torres. <laughs> He's hit the woodwork. And the chances are still coming. He's offside, but I think we're just going to see the whistle. I don't think we're seeing a goal here. Ferran Torres hits the post in the final minutes. Unless we score here, it's all over. Grealish is in the right position. Gives it away, but gets it straight back. He's been fouled, and this is the last chance. We should have the goalkeeper up. We don't have the goalkeeper up. De Bruyne into the mixer. Been headed away. De Ligt collects it. Plays it back to Davies. Davies can't get the ball up. Fast enough, and we are not doing the treble today, boys and girls. And I cannot defeat my bogey team, Manchester United. But we don't forget that this series is not about the FA Cup. This series is about the Champions League. And the Champions League is what we need to win. Tomorrow's episode, we will be covering it. And we will not have Mbappe. And we will not have. No, we will have. Milinkovic Savic will give him injections without a doubt. Can we give Mbappe injections? No, we cannot. <sighs> I have Mbappe for the Champions League final because Manchester United are dirty. And they've still won the game as a result. Oh, boys and girls. We better win this Champions League final. That is where we're ending this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe to the Rexall FM YouTube channel. And I will see you all later.